I grew up in an environment in our province where illegal drugs, prostitution, robbery, and the like were common. I developed a mindset that having a bad boy image made me cool, popular, and respected by the other people. In high school, I joined a fraternity that led me to smoking, drinking, street rambles, and transferring from one school to another. I got involved with company who used solvent, cough syrup, tablets for psychotics, and marijuana. This made me bedridden for a year because of too much intake and fatigue. After I would recover, I would go back to my old vices. This time, to shabu and gambling in casinos and wakes. I was so hooked to these drugs that I experienced four days without sleeping. And even I was very sleepy. I, did not, I didn't want to sleep until I found fund money for my vices for the following day. I would also fund some pushers to sustain my vices. My father requested the casino in the province to ban me from entering because I almost sold all my belongings and the belongings of my parents, siblings, just to satisfy my gambling habit. Since I could not stop my vices, my parents suggested that I go to Manila and start a new life. I disagreed. But when one of my friends told me that it's better to go to Manila because Shabu is cheaper here than in, in the province, I agreed to my parents' proposal to transfer. While in Manila, I stayed with my brother-in-law and sister who were already Christians. I witnessed how they depended on the Lord Jesus Christ for their needs and how peaceful and content contented they are. I said to myself that I also want that peace in my life and I joined them as they invited me to CCF. During the messages, my eyes were open to the reality that I cannot save myself with my own strength from the bad habits I was in. I needed a Savior, and only in Him I will find, I will find true joy and peace I was looking for. I asked Jesus to come into my life. By His grace and empowerment of the Holy Spirit, my hunger for vices was changed by a hunger for God's Word. I started to attend... Praise God. I started to attend all GLC1 classes to know Him more. I joined a D group for me to be discipled and mentored in my spiritual journey. By the way, thank you so much to my D group family. I really appreciate you guys. An opening came for me to work as part of the CCF purchasing team. Through this opportunity, I was able to further know more about the Lord and His calling for me to make disciples. As I, as, as I was taking JLC3, I had this desire in my heart to lead my own D group, but had this fear that I have problem expressing my thoughts and stammering. One day, I heard that some of my co-workers from IT, engineering, divers, and logistics, logistics team were looking for someone to lead them in a small group. I volunteered to lead them. Since they are too many, I split them in two groups. Today, one of the members of the group is the one handling the, the one group. After seeking the Lord, my wife and I decided to join Uber as a partner driver. This gave me more time to serve the Lord. One day, I partnered with one of my Cody group members who is a professional PBA player and with some volunteers. And we started the Monday Evangelistic Basketball Ministry. By God's grace, this group composed of 80 to 100 people, young and old, grew in numbers, and we were able to share the gospel, have devotions, and break out discussions together. Many of them are already attending CCF. As an Uber driver, as an Uber partner driver, God gave me desire to reach out my QT and VS operator drivers to connect them to Christ. I joined an online forum and Facebook page and invited them to our basketball ministry. One day, a big opportunity came 
the president of one of the transport network organization, PTNO. This organization, composed of Grab, Uber, UHAP, Operator Driver, called me and asked if they can play basketball in CCF. This was the start of our Thursday morning evangelistic basketball ministry where we shared the gospel. We started out with 20 to 30 people, and now we are more than 100. Please go. Our heart's desire is for this group to grow deeper in God, attend CCF, be part of a D group, and eventually lead their own group. Looking back at my life, I could not imagine how the Lord would use a former addict like me to do His work. As 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things, the old things pass away, behold, new things have come. Please pray for us to continually rely on the Holy Spirit as we do God's work through basketball and for all participants to heed the call of making disciples. I praise God to my family for not giving up on me and also to my beloved wife. Thank you for your always support and encouragement. I'm Emil Tanoy, a servant of Christ, still a work in progress. To God be all the glory.